Here we have a beautiful little rock pool of uh, sea lettuce. And again, it's so recognisable. It's green. It's one of our green seaweeds. It's uh, quite uh, lettuce looking. It looks like uh, land lettuce. It doesn't taste like land lettuce. It's actually much stronger, more like one of our heritage lettuces. Uh, but again, it's very, very recognisable. There's little bits of seagrass mixed in with it there. And it's all the ulva uh, species. So I think you'd recognise it um, quite easily. Um, sometimes when it's on, the, on, on a mat, uh, the parts of it that are... Uh, the seagrass parts can be very slippery. But the lettuce parts usually sit up like, like lettuce and just lie on the rocks. But here it's all floating beautifully around. We find it on most zones, uh, like here it's in a little rock pool for itself, or it can be much further down in a, in a lower zone. Um, I suppose it used to be uh, pulled off the rocks, like nori, but now we tend to harvest it sustainably with the scissors. So one of the things you have to look out for is that it's not growing in an area that's polluted. I know this area is pristine, it's very, very clean, uh, so it's very safe for me to actually harvest some here. So I'm just going to snip off a little bit with my scissors, and I'll take it back and I'll put it in a salad. Just a little haircut, it'll do it no harm at all. I'll just put those bits there and put them in my basket later. So again, a little haircut. As I say, generally it was pulled off the rocks, but if everyone's going to harvest and really get involved in harvesting a little bit of seaweed for themselves, that's what's important, just to take a small bit and to enjoy it and not to do any damage. Leave plenty for the next person coming along. So I don't think you'll mistake that with anything else. It's very much, as I say, uh, a lettuce like uh, marine algae. You can see there what it's like, both in the water and out of the water. So you won't mistake that with anything else, I think. So enjoy it, full of minerals, vitamins, trace elements, and particularly high in vitamin B12.